everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a review on the Wet n Wild Toasty Treats 12 day advent calendar. If you do wanna see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. This advent calendar retails for $24.98 on walmart.com. I do wanna read a little bit about the advent calendar on Walmart's website. Winter just got warmer with Wet n Wild's Toasty Treats collection. Treat yourself to a 12 day advent calendar packed full of past, present, and future Wet n Wild favorites to enjoy all holiday long. A fun and exciting assortment of brushes, blushes, eye makeup, and more awaits. We give you the details, but that will ruin the surprise. Here's a closer look on what the advent calendar looks like. It's wrapped up in this plastic. Here's what the back looks like. I'm gonna remove this plastic. Here's a closer look on what the advent calendar looks like. It says Wet n Wild Toasty Treats 12 Day Advent Calendar. Up at the top, it says Wet n Wild. Down at the bottom, it says Wet n Wild as well. On the bottom, you have all 12 products that are included. On the side of the packaging, you have the continuation of the design. Same thing on this side. Let me remove this. This is a little sleeve, so this just comes right on out. On the back, it says Wet n Wild Toasty Treats. Underneath that, you have a little description. You have the ingredients listed of each item included and where it was made. It also states this is cruelty-free and vegan. Let's see what's behind day number one. Here we have a full size of the Big Papa Mascara. I tried this mascara in the past. I'm definitely gonna be applying the mascara and everything included in this advent calendar after we unbox everything. Day number two is down here. Here we have a full size eyelash curler. Day number three is down at the bottom. Here we have a full size blush in the shade Pinch Me Pink. You get six grams of product or 0.21 ounces and it was made in Mexico. Day number four is on this side. Here we have a Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. This is in the shade Clear. You get nine milliliters of product or 0.30 fluid ounces and it was made in Mexico. Here's what the wand looks like. I've never tried a two-in-one brow and lash mascara. Again, we'll definitely be trying this out. Day number five is on this side. This is called Take Your Vitamin Super Nutrient Face Mist. On the back, you have the list of ingredients. On the bottom, it states it was made in Mexico. You get 30 milliliters of product or one fluid ounces. I'm super excited to try this out. Day number six is up at the top. Here we have a full-size lipstick. This is the Mega Last Matte Lipstick. It's in the shade Never Nude. You get 3.3 grams of product or 0.11 ounces, and this was made in China. Let's see how much product we get. This shade looks so pretty. Day number seven is down here in the corner. Here we have a full size of the Mega Slick Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Call Me Boss. You get 2.2 milliliters or 0.07 fluid ounces. Again, this shade looks very pretty. Day number eight is up at the top. Here we have a full size flat brush. The bristles feel very soft. Day number nine is in the middle. Here we have the Brow Sessive Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Medium Brown. You get 0.7 grams of product or 0.02 ounces. And this was made in Mexico. Day number 10 is on the bottom. Here we have a Color Icon Lip Liner. This is in the shade 711 Chestnut. You get 0.04 ounces or 1.4 grams of product, and this was made in China. Day number 11 is up here. Here we 
we have a waterproof retractable gel eyeliner. This is in the shade Black is Black. This was made in China. You get 0.23 grams of product or 0.008 ounces. Let's see what's behind the last day in day number 12. This is Wet n Wild's Color Icon. This is in the shade Walking on Eggshells. You get six grams of product or 0.21 ounces, and this was made in China. Now let's apply everything on. I'm first gonna curl my lashes with the eyelash curler. I don't normally curl my lashes using an eyelash curler, but I think this is great. Now let's apply the Big Papa Mascara. Here's what the wand looks like. I love fluffy wands like this. Here's what the mascara looks like. The mascara didn't do anything for my lashes. It didn't give me any volume or length. I'm gonna apply some mascara on this side, that way we're all evened out. Here's what the mascara looks like on both lashes. I applied two coats. I think it looks okay. Now let's see what the blush shade in Pinch Me Pink looks like. feels very soft in the pan. This seems to have a little bit of shimmer. This shade looks very shimmery on the back of my hand. Let's see what it looks like applied on the cheeks. I'm getting a little bit of kick up in the pan. Here's what the blush shade in Pinch Me Pink looks like. It's too shimmery for my liking. I'm gonna apply some to the other side, that way we're all evened out. And here's what the blush shade looks like. I wish it didn't have any shimmer. I think it would have been perfect. I love the color though, it's really pretty. I do wanna apply the Brow Sessive Brow Pencil. Here's what the shade in medium brown looks like. I do have a little bit of brow product applied to my eyebrows. I'll just apply a light layer just so we can see what it looks like. I'm pretty sure I'll like this brow pencil. It does come with a spoolie on the other side. The spoolie is nice as well. I really do like the brow pencil. Now let's lock everything in with the Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Here's what my eyebrows look like. I think they look good. Now let's move on to the lip products. Let's first start off with the lip gloss. Here's what the applicator looks like. It's double-sided and it's in the shade Call Me Boss. It's really pretty swatched on the back of my hand. It does have a light vanilla scent. It smells very good. Here's what the lip gloss looks like. This shade is so pretty. Now let's see what the lip liner shade in chestnut looks like. Here's what the lip liner shade in chestnut looks like. That's so gorgeous. I'm gonna line my lips with the shade in chestnut and then I'll fill it in. Here we have the lip liner shade in chestnut. Another beautiful shade. I wish the formula was a little bit creamy. It's a bit stiff. I like that this is a wooden pencil. That way you can sharpen it. Now let's see what the lipstick shade in Never Nude looks like. This shade might be a little bit too light for my skin tone. But let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Here's what the lipstick shade in Never Nude looks like. This shade is way too light for my skin tone. Let's pair it with a lip liner shade in chestnut. I'm gonna line my lips with the lip liner shade in chestnut. Now I'm gonna apply the lipstick shade in Never Nude. Here's what that lip combo looks like. I think it looks okay. Let's apply the lip gloss on top. Here's what everything looks like. I love how this looks. Now let's see what the gel eyeliner looks like. It's supposed to be retractable. Let's see how much product we get. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. I think the point kind of broke, but that's fine. Now 
That's very pigmented. Now let's see what the eyeshadows look like. Let's start with the first one. These are very soft in the pan. Here's what all five shades look like. And then I'll blend everything out. Here's what the five shades look like in the eyeshadow palette. Now let's create a look using this palette. Taking a clean crease brush, I'm gonna dip into the second shade. This is a shimmer shadow. I'm getting a tiny bit of fallout. Apply this in my crease, going back and forth, doing windshield wiper motions. Love how that shade blended out. Using that same brush, I'm gonna dip into the dark chocolate brown shadow. Using that eyelash curler, I'm gonna use this as a guide. Create my cut crease. Again, going back and forth, doing windshield wiper motions. I'm not sure how this would turn out. We shall see. Not too bad. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Swapping my brush out for a clean fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into the second shade. Again, I'm getting a little bit of kick up. Apply that right on top of the dark chocolate brown shadow. That way it doesn't look so harsh. Keep blending it back and forth. I tried to blend it out as best as I could. Taking the flat brush that came in the advent calendar, I'm gonna dip into the shimmer shadow, pack this all over my lid. Wow, that's really pretty. That shimmer is so pretty. Doing the same thing on the other side. Using that same flat brush, I'm gonna dip into the first shade in the palette, apply this in my inner corner. I like how that looks. Here's how the eyeshadow look turned out. I'm gonna apply a third coat of the Big Papa Mascara. Here's what everything looks like. I'm gonna set everything with the Vitamins Face Mist. I'm gonna shake this, let's see how it sprays. Okay, the mist is nice and fine, I like that. It does have a fruity scent, I don't like that. Let's set the face. There were some hits and misses in this advent calendar. I love these two lip products. The lip liner in Chestnut is so beautiful. Same thing with the lip gloss, really nice, not sticky at all. I also really did enjoy this eyelash curler. I also like the eyeshadow brush. I like how it applied the eyeshadow on my eyelid. I love this Brow Sassa Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. I think I'm gonna enjoy this shade. It's really beautiful and I like this fully as well. I really did like this clear brow gel. I felt like it set my eyebrows really nicely. It's not crunchy or stiff. I really like the formula. This lipstick shade in Never Nude was too light for me, even with the lip liner and the gloss on top. I don't like this shade. The eyeshadow palette had way too much fallout in the pan. It seemed to be very chalky and it was hard to blend. The blush shade in Pinch Me Pink, I didn't like how shimmery this shade was. I wish Wet n Wild would have included a matte blush with no shimmer. I didn't get a chance to test out the gel eyeliner. Let's actually apply this. I'll apply this on my waterline. That's really pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I kind of messed up the gel eyeliner on my eyes, but that's totally fine. I still need to practice some more. I like how creamy this formula is. The Big Papa mascara did not give me any volume or length. I had to apply three coats. I'm gonna stick with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I like the face mist, I just did not like the scent. For $24.98, each product in this advent calendar would be $2 a piece. Again, there were some hits and misses for me in this advent calendar. For you, you might like everything in this advent calendar. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on picking Picking this up at walmart.com. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.